Hello there, everyone. I'm sending my love to my favorite radio show, and that is, of course, The Woody Show. Uh, this is for Woody, Greg, Menis, and Ravy. Ravy as rhymes with gravy, I guess. Anyway, uh, what strange names you've given yourselves. And, of course, this is from Seabass. Get stranger and stranger. Anyway, listen, um, I'm glad, Woody, thank you. Uh, you guys thought Bombshell was great, and uh, Ravy loved my outfit in Clockwork Orange, apparently. Well, there is a story in that, is that, um, you know, before we started shooting the film, I was having dinner with Kubrick. I did two or three times a week before we started shooting, and we talk about, you know, what was to be and all the rest of it, and he was walking me to my car. Uh, in his driveway, and he said, what do you think you'll wear? And I went, well, I don't know, Stanley. I mean, um, it's sort of futuristic. Um, we really should uh, get a wardrobe person on that. And he goes, um, have you got anything? I went, Stanley, it's futuristic. I, I only have jeans and T-shirts and all the rest of it. I don't really have any futuristic costumes. I prance around Notting Hill Gate in. Uh, the only thing I've got is my cricket gear in the car. He went, oh, well, let me see it. So I brought it out, and you know cricket gear is all white, you know. And he looked at it, and he said, no, what's that? And I said, oh, well, that's the protector. And he said, wear it on the outside. And that is exactly where that costume comes from, and all of them. It's my whites from my cricket gear and the cod piece. And then the eyelash, I found at a store called Bieber, which was a little boutique store um, that was very fashionable in London in the late 60s. And um, by the cash register, there was a yard of eyelash. And I thought, oh, Stanley would love that. And I bought it as a kind of joke, you know. And I gave it to him and he looked at it and he said, he handed it back and said, put it on. <laughs> so that, that's how the eyelash came about. Anyway, there you are. As they say, art is sometimes a happy accident. Anyway, um, I'm prattling on here. I'm very th glad, uh, Greg, that you think my accent is delicious. And Manus likes British people in general. Well, thank you for that. And just to say that British people love Americans in general. Um, we always stick together, kind of, when the shit hits the fan. Let's hope it won't do that for a while. Anyway, I send you all my very, very best. Vidi well, little brother, vidi well.